Hey everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. AMD just released the new Radeon RX 6600 graphics card for a suggested retail price of $329. Now that's obviously not adjusted for reality, and your mileage will definitely vary. Regardless of price or availability though, there's one thing that concerns me. Unlike new NVIDIA GPU releases, AMD's RX 6000 series cards haven't exactly seen awesome Linux distro support out of the box. And that's not really the Linux distro's fault. When the RX 6800 XT launched, the review I intended to make ended up being a frustrated plea to AMD, asking them to please send new GPUs to Linux distro maintainers and the graphics wizards at Red Hat, Valve, and elsewhere, who are the ones working on the Mesa and RADV drivers, you know, to ensure that customers who want the bleeding edge hardware can buy it and use it without all the guesswork. So this time, I had to ask the important question about this new RX 6600. Will, Will it Linux? Linux? I tested five different distributions to find out. In addition to Tuxedo Computers and our friends in the community, Linux for Everyone is also made possible by Linode. If it runs on Linux, you can run it on Linode. They have multiple distros available, including Ubuntu, CentOS, Alpine, and Arch, by the way. They've got multiple server plans to make any app or service flexible and easily scalable. You can use a Linode server to easily set up a WordPress-powered website, your own personal VPN, a dedicated Jitsi or Minecraft server, and much more that you can get installed with a single click. Linode has 24-7, 365 support available by phone, regardless of your plan size, so you can get help from a real person when you need it. Right now, Linux for Everyone fans who are opening a brand new account can get a $100 60-day credit by going to linode.com slash Linux for Everyone. Linode's been doing cloud computing since 2003, before Amazon even entered the picture. So they're not trying to take over the retail world like other companies. They're just focused on good old fashioned Linux loving cloud computing. Go to linode.com slash Linux for everyone to get started building your new project. It's where we host all of ours and we're proud to call them a longtime partner. The criteria is simple. I do a fresh install of a handful of Linux distributions on my System76 Thaleo. <laughs> install Steam, connect my external Steam library drive, and see if I could run games with the performance you'd expect from a card like this, which is capable of running just about anything at 1080p Ultra. No adding external repos, no fooling around with drivers. Our first stop, Garuda Linux Gaming Edition. This beautiful distro is loaded with all the stuff that I want. You've got Proton GE, Goverlay, Steam pre-installed, and a lot more. And since it's Arch-based, I didn't really have much doubt about things running smoothly. And thankfully, Garuda did nothing to change that. I kicked things off with uh, Feral Interactive's native port of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And aside from this right here, that, that strange little overlay issue, uh, it ran like a dream. I defaulted everything to 1080p at the highest graphics settings. It looks great. There's no stuttering. It's a rock solid 60 plus FPS normally going as high as 100, 120 FPS in certain scenes. And, and really the simple fact that these games launch at all uh, tells us pretty much all we need to know. But seeing that visual proof, that nice smooth frame rate is just icing on the cake. So Garuda passes with flying colors. Next up, the Fedora 35 Beta, partially because I wanted to see GNOME 41 in action and partially to see if that installer still has the done button unintuitively up on the left side instead of the right. <laughs> yep. I started again with another native game, this one Feral Interactive's port of Dirt Rally, but this is OpenGL instead of Vulkan. So let's see how OpenGL performs out of the box, Fedora 35 Beta, Dirt Rally. No compromising here. Again, 1080p at the highest possible graphics settings, and it looks great. I mean, for as old as this game is, very smooth, very playable, 
and uh, a clear sign that the RX 6600 is working just as expected. And once again, we are hitting above 60 FPS, which is great news. All right, so what about one of the heavy hitters, like the brand new uh, Ubuntu 21.10? Now, this ships with kernel 5.13, but the assumption here is that the hardware enablement stack will have us covered with the new RX 6600. Let's find out. A quick glance at our about page shows that it's definitely picking up the, uh, the proper graphics codename there. And so that is a very good sign. Let's kick things up a notch with some Doom Eternal. Initially, I loaded up the Ancient Gods Part 1 uh, on Ultra Nightmare, and it's a little chonky, a little chonky, a little stuttery. I'm not sure it can really handle that much eye candy. But bumping it down just to regular Nightmare actually made a pretty considerable difference in terms of just overall smoothness. And as you can see, not a problem rendering this game at all. That's three out of five, ladies and gentlemen. Things are looking very encouraging. Now, what about Pop OS? System76 has historically tried to enable new hardware support as quickly as possible, but let's see how the Pop OS 21.10 beta is shaping up. For that, I decided to give Psychonauts 2 a test drive for the first time. No Proton GE, nothing special, just a quick installation of Goverlay so I can get my Mango HUD there on the top right, and just out of the box, Steam Proton. Now, any stuttering or kind of blurry, laggy frame rendering that you're seeing here is actually my fault. During the gameplay, it didn't look like this, but my OBS recording was a little bit borked, and so there we are. Uh, but I can assure you that in-game, it looks, it looks great. So really, all the bits and bobs that you need for all four of these distros so far are in place for you to just install your card and have some fun. And last, but certainly not least, a Patreon pick chosen by Linux for Everyone patrons. It is a distro that I don't give enough attention to, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Let's get it installed and see how things are looking over there for the RX 6600. Let's fire up Resident Evil Village. Haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, <laughs> sorry to be so predictable, but it just works. It just works. All five of these fantastic distros, <laughs> we finally have support baked in for the RX 6000 series. That is, of course, uh, mainly thanks to kernel developments and the work of excellent graphics engineers and the hardware enablement stack over on the Ubuntu side of things. So the Radeon RX 6600, will, will it, it Linux? Linux? Absolutely, my friends. Now more than ever. And it's about time. Hopefully you can get your game on with whatever hardware you have laying around. Leave some comments if you have feedback on this video. And until the next one, you guys take care and take care of each other. Bye. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh.